Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online Q&A video. My name is Saints Fan, and today we have an absolutely interesting topic, to say the least, that uh, we're mainly going to be talking about. I mean, it's the title of the video. It's just, it's kind of crazy. Let's just say that. But uh, we have some other questions before we actually get into that one, and we're going to go ahead and hop in. We have the first one from Squint Eye. Do you think that the old aircrafts that have been in the game since day one, like the Annihilator, will get updated to have better weapons, countermeasures, and etc. Now, is this, like, a huge priority? Of course not. But I think they should. I thought they would have when they freaking introduced all the new aircraft and the hangar system into the game, but no typical rock star can't ever work on anything that's freaking in the past unless it has something to do with money. But yeah, I just, I, I find it very, very disappointing that in 2000 and freaking 20, a buzzard still doesn't have flares or something, especially considered, considering every single vehicle in the game seems like it has missiles now. And like the CEO buzzard option, while it's great and it's awesome to spawn right next to you, it's just it's like, man, knowing you're going to go up in the air if you're in a public lobby that's relatively full and Odds are you're going to get blown up. That is just very, very disheartening, honestly. And it's, it's like, man, I bought this damn thing and I, and I can't even use it properly. But no, I, I definitely agree. I, you know, I think that's something minor that they could add to some of those older vehicles uh, like the Annihilator, like the Buzzard. Just allow us to put flares on them. I mean, look, the, the weapons on them, I maybe understand they're not going to ever upgrade those, but allow us to defend ourselves. That's That's, I think, all most of us really want then we have john smith do you think the casino heist update is better than the previous two heist updates that's that's an interesting question and i'm sure there's going to be some people in the comment section that agree or disagree with uh with this but i honestly i do i think the casino heist is better than the other two now while it doesn't pay the most the doomsday heist is definitely better as far as that goes I personally have been enjoying the casino heist. And I, I think this is what I'm going to say. I've been enjoying it while it might not be as crazy and as like even in depth or as cinematic maybe as like the doomsday heist because that was definitely a better story. There was just way more like craziness going on in that in those missions. But despite all that, like. I've been enjoying the casino heist because it is more laid back. It is more chill and relaxing, and it's it's way easier to do. You technically can do the entire thing solo, except for the like the finale. You can do all the setup missions solo, which is awesome for me, kind of as a solo player. I can just kick back, enjoy, well, you know, my oppressor mark two or something, and go around and do all the setup missions which usually only takes about like an hour. And then I can either call up some random people or, you know, if any of my friends or crew members are online, I'll invite them. We can play the heist. And the heist honestly only takes like 15 minutes. If that, if you're doing it quick enough and you end up getting a real good amount of money, if you do everything correctly, I think I did one a couple days ago and granted, I didn't necessarily get this amount of money because I was giving it to someone else, but he got, 2.5 million i believe in the end that's a hell of a profit you know for for what it is so i i think for me personally i'm enjoying the casino heist a lot more than the doomsday heist plus it's also different like you have different options and different variations in the actual heist each time so it isn't this the same thing over and over again but i am curious to hear what you guys think on on that do you think the casino heist is better than the doomsday i think we can all agree the OG heists, they're not that great. So it's more like casino heist versus doomsday heist. Which one do you think is better? Now the third question, the question that will be interesting to answer. We have Wootvuk. Do you think all the newest cars are overpriced? Especially if you compare it to 2015. And I'm going to go ahead and put up this picture. This was made by uh, Bruffy, another YouTuber, and... It does show the inflation of cars in GTA. The Sultan, specifically. 2013, we had the regular Sultan. It was basically free because you get it off the street. 
2016 is when it the Bennies. I think it was like early 2016 is when Bennies came out. That was when the upgrade was released, and it was like eight hundred thousand dollars. And then 2020, the Sultan Classic was released, and you can see it is one point seven million dollars. Now, technically, you can get that a little lower. You can get it for one point three million uh, by getting the trade price, but for the most part, that's the evolution of the Sultan. And a ton of people were complaining about this, and I mean, you really can't argue with it, right? Because if you put it into like monetary value, the newest Sultan Classic, if you compare it to like shark cards, basically it's like it's saying it's $21, 21 US dollars for one vehicle. And getting to the question, do I think they're all overpriced? That's, it's tough to say because there's two sides of the fence when it comes to this. While on paper, that looks terrible, like the inflation and the fact that the, like a vehicle now is way, way more than a vehicle way back in the day. But when you think about it, at least as far as like what you could do in, in the game, it maybe looks a little bit more reasonable Back in 2013, we were all grinding rooftop rumble where you made like $30,000, if that, you know, in a couple of minutes. So we really didn't have a way to make millions of dollars somewhat quickly like we do now with heists. And then going to when the Sultan RS came out in 2016, again, at this point, the first heists were out. So there was a relatively easy way to make a lot more money like grinding the heists was definitely much better than grinding the casino missions and i think the bump up in the amount of money it makes sense and then even going to now 2020 while yes the amount has gone up there is a ton of different ways to make money you could freaking grind and do the doomsday heist over and over again you could do the casino heist over and over again both those pay millions of dollars I mean, you could do any of the businesses, and it's a grind for sure, but those businesses, like the, the bunker, I believe, that ends up paying like $2 million if it's completely full. So it's, it's very, very different as far as how you make money in today's day compared to 2013. So while, again, on paper, I think it's definitely, it doesn't look good, I think it's, it is sort of out of context a little bit. I'm not advocating and saying this is right in any way, by the way. I'm just pointing that out. I definitely don't agree with what Rockstar is doing. And, dude, $1.7 million for a sports car? No, that shouldn't, that shouldn't happen. Unless they changed the shark card value. Now, if the shark card value was different, maybe things would be a little bit better. But they ne they've never done that. So... I think that's one of the biggest reasons why people are complaining. Because like, if you spent $100 and instead of only getting $8 million in GTA Line, if you spent that $100 to get the, the biggest shark card, and let's say that biggest shark card got you like $30 million, that would be a lot more reasonable. You could do a ton with $30 million. With $8 million, you can't really do a whole bunch. So I think that's uh, that's where Rockstar sort of failed as far as all of this like inflation stuff goes. But as always, in the comment section, let me know your thoughts on this sort of topic. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who don't like it just because, I mean, no one likes expensive cars. But I think maybe it's not as bad as it seems. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm not seeing something, I guess, properly. But that's my answer on that topic. We have Scrappy with this next question. It's an awesome question. Why isn't Rockstar making live events in online games or in their online games like Epic does for Fortnite? GTA and Red are literally the best types of games for these uh, events. I don't know, man. I've been saying that literally for like five years now. Like you could legitimately go back to probably one of my Q and A's way back then, 2000 freaking 14. I'll, I'll answer the same question. And I know most of us love Rockstar, despite their issues, but that is why, and that's what's so frustrating with them as a developer. They don't interact with the community. They don't have events, have fun events like in Fortnite or you know any of the other popular games. Like I think even Call of Duty has a similar sort of thing. 
And it, like you mentioned, it's not like GTA and Red Dead aren't capable of doing these events. No, they're perfect for these sort of events. I mean, the one I've always said, like a Halloween event, change the freaking weather in free roam to the Halloween weather and have some stuff. I guess the only sort of event you could classify is the snow, but that's once a year. I want something like that every month. That would make GT Line so much more fun, but rocks would just never do it. So yeah, I don't know. And then the final question, the question of the day, just because I, I know I've maybe asked this, but Owen, do you think the Oppressor Mark II should be completely removed rather than just get nerfed, but refunds would be involved? So the question of the day, would you like if they removed the Oppressor Mark II from the game, but they gave you your money back? Me, as an Oppressor Mark II advocate for not PvP stuff, no, never remove it. Even if they gave me freaking $10 million back, I just like it so much, man. But I will say the nerfs, I think, because I've been playing PC a lot lately, I've seen a decrease in Mark II griefers. So maybe that's, I don't know if that's just on PC. I don't know if the same thing's happening on console, but I don't think there are as many griefers out now with the Oppressor Mark II because of the nerf. So that's, that's definitely a good thing. And I think Rockstar actually did something nice for a change regarding that. So that's my thoughts on it. But thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for the video. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA online content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.